Now to work with Visual Basic in action and have fun, let's make our first code. Make sure you're inside of Developer tab. We have two modes basically, Design Mode and Runtime. If I click on Design Mode, I could make my objects, click on this Legacy tool, and click on this button which called Command button. There it is, we made our first button. And to change or see the properties, simply you could click on the properties. And now we have properties panel. And caption is the title. Let's change it. Maybe something like click me. Press enter or return to commit. And note that the name, it is different with caption. Caption, it is the title. Name, it is something we call it and use it on the coding. For example, your name, let's say something like Alex. It is not written on your t-shirt or on your face. But they call you Alex and you know you are Alex. But the caption, it is something in appearance and you will see. Anyway, to get coding for that, you could simply double click on that. And there it is. Now we are inside of VBE and inside of command button one underscore click. To click, it is event or it's called procedure here. We have different events such as click, double click, key down, key up, key press, or even mouse button down, up, or move. Anyway. Let's make our first code here inside of this private sub and end sub. Here, I want to type some code msg box, which it is shortened for message box. And let's say the prompt hello word and close it. I could click anywhere else. As you see, immediately it is giving error, compile error. Why it is happening? Because the hello and word, it is not command, it is not other phenomena such as module, functions, etc. It is the regular text. Inside of programming language, the regular text, it is called string. And you have inside of Visual Basic to put inside of double quotations. And there it is. Now we have a regular text and message box. When gonna show you when you click. If I run here, immediately you will see the dialog box. But actually, we don't need to go run it here. You could simply close it and exit from design mode. Now, if I click on this button, you see, we have the message box, hello world, with OK button and with title Microsoft Word. I want to change the title here and buttons. Again, I could go to the design mode and double click on this button or click on Visual Basic and start adding. I could type comma. You see, we have tooltip. This is buttons. I could search something like VB OK Cancel. Double click. Comma. Next one it is title. And again the title it is regular text. Or as we call string. Put inside of double quotations. I say as an example welcome. OK. Now close it. And click on this button again. There it is. Welcome. The text it is hello world. And we have OK and cancel button. Because we didn't define anything, if I press OK or cancel, automatically will close it. So again, I could go to design mode and double click. And we could even expand more and more. Let's say I don't want to show me a message box. Simply, I could delete it. I could exit from design mode simply here. And if I click on this button, nothing gonna happen. This time I want to, after clicking on this button, 
change my button width. How can I do that? If you don't know the properties, if I go design mode, properties and select my button, you could find any properties like height and width. So I changed the width here. What is my object name? It is command button one. I could simply select and copy to be lazy programmer dot w it is width i could simply press space or i want to type the value after equal so i could simply type equal it is automatically completed and just as an example let's say 300. note that unit measurements inside of visual basic it is twips it is not very general and standard but it is almost each trip is 15 pixels anyway i could close it exit from design mode and click on that and there it is in the next video we will get more complicated text on this button to have more practice and get more familiar with visual basic coding so continuing on the next video